Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back in Victoria 2. Um, I'm playing in vanilla. We're gonna play as the USA. We're gonna get as much immigration as we can. Hey, they have uh, a lot of slaves, but we'll get rid of that later. Let's research medicine first. So we are eighth rate power behind the Ottomans, but that, that will also change. We are a democratic republic, so we can't choose our own party, but that doesn't really matter. We can uh, always hold elections and through our estates uh, change our party loyalty. We have a low literacy, so let's just start with encourage, encouraging clergymen and then we'll do some bureaucrats. We're gonna get, go, we're gonna get claims on Mexico if we research, uh, I think, state and government. Or not, you know, if we research nationalism and imperialism, we'll get manifest destiny, which will make us unlock this decision. Yeah, we got manifest destiny, and if we click this, we will gain all of South and everything that the that Mexico owns that is part of the modern day US. We'll get scores on that. But like nobody lives here. 900 people. Los Angeles already a shithole. But uh, Mexico is at war with Texas right now. I think we're gonna cozy up with Texas. We'll get we'll get them in our sphere, and then we'll do a first war against Mexico. I now got Texas in our sphere, uh, which means that we can help them in the war. We're gonna help the cowboys out. They already want a peace out. Nice. After a few battles, Texas wants to become a state. Do it. The borders now look like this. I'm also doing this, the thing that the AI does in vanilla. The most disgusting thing ever. So we got our troops ready. And now I'm gonna ship them over to China. Most beautiful thing about vanilla Vic 2 and being in the Americas is. I'll just show it. I'm gonna think. You can only take stuff from their puppets. So I'm gonna see which one is the best state. Think you nan from them. If you would normally declare in a mod in HPM or something, it would uh, reduce your immigration attraction. Uh, but here it doesn't. So you'll normally get the events. Nothing. If you look at your modifiers, nothing. If you look at your migration, it's still coming. People are still moving into your country, even if you're at a war, which makes playing in Amer America's more fun because you otherwise have nothing to do. Oh my god, though, that are a lot of troops. 200? Oh, oh, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. The horde is coming. Defend Winfield. They don't have a commander. We're gonna retreat. I was minding my own business. I was trapping Chinese people in this trap. I already got 34 war score. And then this happens. What the hell, Mexico? What the heck? They want taxes back? I, I'm just gonna mobilize and see what happens. We are still losing money. The loans have become bigger. This isn't good. We even own money to Bolivia and Haiti. I pieced out Mexico, a white piece, and uh, I pieced out China for <laughs> for this, <laughs> for the American Chinese Empire. This is special. This is something special. All the while, while we were at war, we still got migration, even though it's like six people from Tuscany and four people from Belgium. In the late game, this is going to be very handy. This is going to be very fun and and my fleet died i'm stuck i'm gonna be stuck in here and we're making bank now i i was in a lot of depths but now i'm gonna get out of it my troops are stuck here i can't go to china so why not go westwards to burma i did a conquest cb well um, yeah i'm gonna annex burma i have sweet opium and i can sell on the markets to Chinese people. I'm like the British. I'm, I'm thinking. My, my, man's, my mind's working here. I'm being very smart right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's kill them. We'll annex Burma. We'll fu fully annex this huge country. I don't know how that works. I guess it's because they're a primitive nation. Vanilla is broken. That's why I love it. Oh, what? The British are at war with me? The fun police is here, Jesus. The last war in Burma, I just pieced it out. Now gonna attack Mexico because we got the manifest destiny decision. Let's get them. Mexico is dead. Siege down everything here. I'm gonna slowly add all the cores 
We have reached the Pacific, boys. We have reached LA. We're gonna meet Tobuscus in LA, guys. We run from them. The borders now look like this. Uh, but not really straight, actually. More look like a wonky line. We got the Civil War. By the way, I also conquered Haiti. It went very smooth. Nothing really happened there. We'll go for the Union. Not that many provinces are our slave states. And all my units are already here. Three rousing cheers for the Union. We got them already. We got stack wiped twice. Oh no, it's because they are de-orged. And let's get our troops to Washington. And all the while, we're still getting immigration. We're sieging them down here and they're just over there. <laughs> minding their own business. I've almost fully sieged down the CSA, but they want to peace out, so let's just unite the nation. There we go. Finally back. That went pretty well, except for that blunder in the beginning. Time for the 20th war against China. Let's go, let's do it. I sent the boys over. We're gonna get them. Oh god, that's a lot. Of oh no. This can mean my death. <laughs> We're fighting 200 Chinese troops. This is insane. There's like a name. They have 800 strength. China in Victoria, in Vanilla Victoria 2 was made by a Chinese nationalist. We peaced out just in time because our country has exploded. It's exploded into rebels, anarcho, anarcho rebels. American Foreign Legion had to interfere in a war between our faithful ally, the Netherlands and uh, Belgium. We crushed them. The American uh, military crushed them, of course, but the Netherlands just took Wallonia and not the Flemish part. Uh, so now it looks like this. The Netherlands is giving Belgium a big old hug. A crisis is happening over the liberation of Bulgaria. I got all the boys versus uh, the German boys. And here it goes. The war map mode looks like this. Oh my god, Africa. Africa looks... Okay, their units are really low on organization. You can see the bar here. And we're gonna help the UK Navy. I don't have a commander, nice. That's the end of the German Navy. That's the end of my army right there. I've landed in the pressure region. I uh, sort of made this line, this front line. This the problem is the Germans just have so many units. Wherever I go, there are like 200 units waiting for me. Rip the Turkish. This is not looking good for them. The Ottomans being sieged down is actually good for us because we are still getting migration. The offensive into Germany is sort of successful. Mobilized everyone. Almost everyone is, is off fighting. The thing that scares me the most is the big Russian bear that's been sitting there and doing nothing the whole time. We've almost fully sieged down Germany and Austria. Good thing is we are getting lots of migrants. Let's just ease them out. Here you go. Now I just have to reorganize all of my units. The most painful thing after a war. Something crazy just happened. I saw, I see that I'm getting 60k a day. I'm looking at my migration. China westernized. Oh god, what, what happened to Austria? Slovenia, what? <laughs> We got Slovenia and they have the Yugoslavia course. Gonna do a one final attack on the Spanish. Gonna be for Cuba. I pieced out France and Spain and stuff for Cuba. And we finally got it. Look at that. It looks beautiful now. Our fin destiny has been fulfilled. Let's have a look at the rest of the world. USCA still exists for some reason. Brazil? <laughs> Brazil just took parts of Bolivia and turned it into slave states. Africa is Africa, I, I think. I, I guess you can't just can't really. Vanilla Africa is always gonna look goofy. Italy never formed. Austria sad. They like they got bonked on the head. Nothing really happened here. Let's have a look at the great powers. UK, me then, uh, France, Germany, Russia, Japan, Bavaria, and the Chinese, of course, the Chinese, because they, they westernized and they have so many units. That was it. I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.